What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video guys, today we got market talking guys, if you have not seen my pink diamond pool, go check that out, and yo, look what he sold for, I'm freaking out, look at that, ah! He sold for 195,000 MT. Big dubs in the chat. We still got 200,000 VC left. I'm hyped. We got or waiting for new packs, yo. Yo, I'm hyped. Uh, big boy, big boy dubs. Uh, we're gonna go over the auction as per usual. Drop 20,000, uh, 20,000 MT in the comments for a chance of winning 20,000 MT. We gotta hit 50 likes because we did hit the like goal. Giveaway winner will be announced. Um, let's announce the giveaway winner on Monday. So hit this 50 likes. We already hit a, a video at 40 likes. That was the old like goal. We've hit it. So the like goal has moved up to 50 likes. Um, this video is going to be market, market talk, MT methods, all that good stuff. So get ready for that. And, uh, yeah, you guys been loving the content. So of course I'm going to keep pouring it out. And, uh, yeah, so giveaway winner will be announced either in the video or in the comments. One of my videos on Monday, we're we'll probably have two videos. So stay tuned for that. Uh, other than that, let's get to the market, um, but let's check out this empty rewards pack that's pretty probably garbage. Uh, here it is, an arm. An arm, like, thank you. Um, let's get into it. So, as per usual, let's check out my diamond filter, see how the market is flowing. We are stacked, bro. We actually pulled something. Um, let's check it. Let's check it. Oh, Jamal Mashburn for 30 I like that price. What's his actual price, though? Uh, if you guys don't know... This filter is probably the best filter in the game. Um, 30k, huh? Um, pretty much just shows if the market's crashed or not. You just gotta put your filters to diamond and then pretty much scroll through like this. But um, yeah, this filter, my favorite filter besides the Amethyst filter, we're gonna get into this. But uh, yeah, this filter right here. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of Austin cars, but if you see anything other than the Austin cars, it pretty much means the market is flowing because Austin car is always the cheapest. Now, if you see a Jamal, it means that the market is flowing around. If there's no Jamal, it usually means he's 40k and the market isn't really flowing. That's the way I tell if the market's hot right now. So right now is not a bad time this night. Because, first of all, we have these packs. We have these packs. And, uh, yeah, let's check Rashard Lewis's price. I'm kind of curious. I got him within, like, the first five hours. Um, let's check out his price. He is rocking around 150 Now, I sold him for 200 pretty much. Big, big ass dubs for me. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, let's get to my Amethyst filter. This filter has supposedly been cooking. My my uh, subs have been saying this filter has been cooking. And uh, this filter is money. I'm going to go over it right now. Tell you guys. Oh, it's a good time to sell. Market actually isn't that intriguing right now. So if you guys don't know, I did pick up two Hardens for 12k. Now, what happens? So if you don't remember, they're literally at a base of 15k yesterday and Friday. So since they were at a base of 15k, now they're at a base of 20. It is a great time to sell. Make your quick little MT around 3k plus. Um, this filter is money. Why is this filter money? Because you have a chance of getting Curry, KD, Anthony Davis, and LeBron for under 20k. Now, does it happen a lot? It does because I've gotten a ton of snipes off it. And uh, you want to try to get Kawhi, Harden, Paul George... Uh, for under around 15k to make that MT and it goes fast because they sell quick But yeah, here's my auctions now. I have two hardens which I both got for 12k in one of my videos I did snipe them out and um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly sell them for 19k now 2k So I'm gonna lose like 2k off the reduction. I got it for 12. So I'm gonna make about 6k clean I just had to wait a little bit because they were cheap um, Like I said Sunday is usually a really good day to sell cards um, usually make a ton of MT selling cards on Sunday, but yeah, it's a good day to sell. These are what I have in my auction, just waiting for these cards to go up. I'm probably going to keep all to my Marcin Gortats for now because he is very cheap. Pretty much if you want to sell some of these players in the new set, I would go ahead and sell. Um, just because you could, you, you, I mean, you don't have to sell, I meant to say. I wouldn't sell because they're really cheap. Because like there's so many of them in packs right now I'm just gonna hold on to these in my auction wait till their prices go up until they're out of packs I have a ton of Antoine's I have a ton of people in the set that I'm just waiting to sell Everything's too cheap right now. So do not sell 
um, in the set. Anything in this new set, the new Dwight set, do not sell. Wait it out a little bit. Wait it out a couple weeks. They'll probably go up in price. As you can see, bro, my Harden has already sold. We might have a little Diamond Giannis gameplay. Um, that's what we're looking for. But yeah, right now, uh, since the market is slower, when the market is slower, I do like to check out the silver filter. It is a lot faster paced usually. And um, yeah, for some reason, people like to put up snipes on silver cards. But uh, yeah, we're going to go over different players to snipe as well. Um, let's see. That's, I guess, not a good price. You probably want to put it like $23.50. Yeah, that's a good price. So around this price, you don't even have to move anything. Any Bucks player, any Bulls players, not valuable at all. You kind of want to get silver players without amethysts. Uh, let's see. No, Bulls players are rare. Bucks players aren't rare. Warriors players aren't rare. Um, anything with an amethyst are not rare. Usually silvers without the amethyst are the rare ones because there's no amethyst to take up most of the MT in the collection. So this filter is usually money. It is slow right now. It is early on Sunday. People are getting ready for football, but uh, do they have? Is that a good snipe? Plumley? It's probably not. It's been up there for too long. Let's check it out. But uh, yeah, you guys understand what's going on. Oh, I forget it. It's not a snipe. All right. So let's see. So this is what we got in packs. We got Harden. We got Chris Paul. We got Vince Carter, which I do have everyone besides the Chris Paul and Harden. But uh, let's check out the Harden's price. I heard he was going for under 100K. And, uh, well, way over 100K. So, oh, this is bad. This is not a good buy. Wow, his stats are really good. I would not recommend buying him. Also, another thing. Another snipe filter that is very, very good. I'm going to show you right now. Amethyst, Dwight Howard collection. Why? Chris Paul and Vince Carter on it. Why? Both usable cards. Now, let's see their prices. I have Vince Carter. He's rocking around 20-ish K, I think. This new Chris Paul's money is quick draw. He's fast. He's small. He's steel. He's good defense. His defense is both 90 and 90 steel, so he's a stud. Now, Vince Carter for 18K. Is that a really good price? I don't know. We'll see. So he's rocking around 18K. Um, this, this filter actually is money. I only stepped out of Chris Paul so far from it. But other than that, try out this filter. Um, it's pretty good. And also... Now, yeah, this is a really good filter. I'm pretty sure you could literally just switch back and forth between spotlights. You could, technically. Uh, we got the spotlight Clyde. We got the spotlight D-Wade. You could keep flipping, but personally, I would try this because they are in packs. Um, they are going to be kind of hot. So, I don't know. It's up to you guys, though. Personally, I really do think this is a good filter. I've sniped out one thing from it. It wasn't Chris Paul, but then again, I haven't really been on the game, realistically. Only time I've been on the game was when I'm making videos. Uh, but yeah, guys, get ready for packs. We got Thanksgiving this week. We could see crazy content. Honestly, we could. Realistically, you probably shouldn't. We never really see good content. But uh, I'm saving my VC. I got 200,000 VC sitting there. Now, I'm just waiting for something actually decent to drop. Once something decent drops, I'm set. Literally. I'm so set. I'm super excited for something to drop. I just really... What are you guys thinking about Thanksgiving? I honestly... I don't know what could come. I don't know if they're even going to drop anything. 2K usually doesn't drop anything on Thursday or, for, or Wednesday. But uh, maybe they'll drop some solos. That would be kind of cool. I would love to see that. As you can see, my other heart and sold. We're going to be sitting around over 300K with a stacked ass team. But uh, yeah, right now, so overview of the market. Right now, I would recommend selling all cards because the market is kind of dead. It's Sunday, it's football day, so this is the market overview. So I would say sell all cards. Do not buy any cards right now. You could snipe cards. It's going to be hard. Literally, I would just recommend selling your team. Um, wait till new crazy content comes. It is Thanksgiving week. I am expecting something crazy. These legacy packs, one of these, one of these packs gone. Let's see. These legacy packs are gone in two days, so that is actually a Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, these packs will be gone, so I'm guessing they dropped some fire Wednesday. So I would say sell your cards, wait till Wednesday. We also got moments of the week. These are gone in a day and two hours, so these are gone tomorrow? So these are gone tomorrow, so maybe we'll see new moments of the weeks tomorrow. I don't know, though. Looks like we will because... Maybe they're doing a content Monday and Wednesday. But yeah, sell cards now. Pick them up later. Try out those filters. Let me know how it goes. I'm honestly really hyped to see what kind of moments of the week we have. We'll have moments of the week prediction tomorrow. Stay tuned for more content. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.